Okay, now I need a little piece of spaghetti. It's just regular old spaghetti to place inside the body. It's going to help hold the head on. Because we don't want the little puppy losing his head. Okay, snap it off. This one we're going to snap off uh, probably about close to an inch. <laughs> or not. Let me pull this out. I wanted it higher. Taller. Here, about an inch. All right, before I put the head on, I need to put a collar on. This is going to be the boy, so I think I'm going to do a uh, red collar for him. And I think I'll do pink probably for her. So the collar is basically going to be uh, kind of like the neck. So this is just red fondant. And I should go ahead and put, I didn't put any Tylos in this red, so what I'm going to do is just sprinkle some out here. That's kind of a lot for this little piece, but whatever. Some shortening on my fingers. Now you could go um, anywhere from like a teaspoon for like a half a pound. Some people only do a teaspoon per pound. I just do the sprinkle in method, which is probably more than that. This will just help it dryer faster and hopefully won't sink down when I put my head on. Okay, so roll it into a ball like this and then just kind of put your fingers and pinch the ball. And then you're going to place this over the spaghetti. Let's place a little bit of water right down here first though. Place it over the spaghetti. And that's the little collar. Okay, so it's like the collar and that creates his, his little neck. Okay, here's our little dude, all sides. I've got a big, huge piece here. Um, you can see it in relation to the to the um, the body. It's probably about uh, about half of the body size, maybe a little bit more than half. But okay, so um, brown ball, and then take my hands. Now this time, see how open I? It's a pretty open V, and I just start to roll like this just a little bit, okay? What I wanted to create is this little curve thing. This is gonna be the nose, and so I just needed that to curve out just a little bit, and then I'm even just gonna kind of pull and stretch it out just a tiny bit. Okay, you can see where I'm going for the head, and then turn this just kind of upward a little bit. Okay, so you're at this angle, so you get this nice little scoop here, okay? I like to just take this and kind of just poke in here, up and down, for where the eyes are going to go, we're going to add those separately just so I can kind of see um, what's going on there. Then take a little water right on top here and place it right over. Okay. Alrighty. Now I want him looking that way, like towards her, so kind of head up. You can see his collar. All right, and then what we need to do is create the mouth. So you can use, why don't I just use a toothpick since that's what you probably have. Um, push the toothpick in right about, right in the middle, right about here, hold on to the head, push in and curve it upward. Then come the opposite direction here, push in, come upward. Okay, and then you can kind of go back over it, make it a little deeper. Okay, and then right here in the middle, just do a little line like this. And go back and kind of clean that up where I messed that up. So the nose will go right up here on top. Okay, like so. 